kids, Miss Booksy here with a brand new story here at Cool School. Today's fairy tale is one from the Brothers Grimm about Snow White. No, not Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. This one is about another girl named Snow White <laughs> and her sister, Rose Red. But trust me, you'll like this story as much as the other Snow White. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were two sisters, Snow White and Rose Red. I'm Snow White. And I'm Rose Red. Cool. cool. The two sisters look just alike, except I always wear white. And I always wear red. Right, I guess that part was pretty obvious. Anyway, they were hanging out in their house one winter afternoon, just chilling in front of the fire when there was a big, loud knock on the door. Who could that be? It sounded like a bear! Ah! Snow White and Rose Red decided they would open the door and scare away the bear. As you know, kids, bears are dangerous. Do not try this at home. Even if you have a really big frying pan. On the count of three. One, One two, two, three! three. Ah! Yeah! 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 Whoa, easy. I come in peace. Hold up. You can talk? That's cool. But Tell me this, talking bear. How do we know you're not dangerous? You'll just have to trust me. Sorry, we don't. Yeah, you're a really big bear. And you can talk, which is weird. I don't like the feeling of this. Also, you've got really big teeth. Yeah, seems like you'd be dangerous. I understand. I was just hoping you'd let me warm up by the fire. But okay, I'll go. Okay, maybe we can let him warm up just a bit on one condition. So they tied him up just in case he got hungry. At first it was kind of awkward. But soon they were like old friends. The three sat by the fire and chatted all afternoon. The bear seemed perfectly nice. He promised that he definitely did not want to eat Snow White and Rose Red. He explained he was mostly vegetarian. Sometimes he ate fish, but never ever people. <laughs> when their parents came home, they were quite ah! surprised to find a bear tied to their lazy boy. Snow White and Rose Red begged them to let him stay the night. Please, 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 Do you think it's safe, dear? I don't know. He is a grizzly bear after all. He's a vegetarian. Well, I guess it's okay. He better behave. Yay! The next morning, the girls untied him. Sorry about the ropes. Had to play it safe, you know? <laughs> hey, what's your name anyway? You can call me Grizz. Okay, Grizz. <laughs> See ya. The next night, Grizz came back. Then the next night, and the next night, and the next night, and okay, you get it. <laughs> he became like part of the family. He was the snuggliest, most gentle, awesomest bear ever. Like a real live teddy bear. But when summer came, Grizz said he had to go back into the woods to battle an evil troll. The girls were sad, but they understood that sometimes you had to go out and fight trolls. That's just how it is when you're living in a fairy tale. Hey Grizz, let us know if you need help. Yeah, I can bring my frying pan. I think I'll be okay, but thanks. Just a few days later, Snow White and Rose Red were really missing Grizz. No matter what they did, they imagined how much better it would be with Grizz there. Then they began to worry about this evil troll. What if Grizz really does need our help? We must help him defeat the evil troll. Wow, I wonder what will happen next. We better check out part two right now. Click right over there to watch. Bye kids. Bye. <laughs>